with Doris Burke and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Well, Kevin Durant, the all-time... Yeah, that's a great perspective, Allie. Thank you. And these are two high-flying teams, Grant. Loads of athleticism on the floor. What's it like to play in a game like this? Oh, B.A., it is the best. It's so much fun. I mean, of course, here we're expecting lots of fast breaks, dunks, just in general, a lot of action. And, of course, the fans love these type of games. I can't wait. And checking out Brooklyn's opening lineup, Kevin Durant is out there with Royce O'Neal. Then it's Ben Simmons. Then it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Claxton in at the five. And for Milwaukee, Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. Then it's Wesley Matthews. Then there's Drew Holiday. And it's lights out in a two-guard. Here's O'Neal. Outside for Irving. Let's it go from deep. Drills it from deep. Kyrie Irving, such a consistent threat to score from anywhere on the floor. That time he goes to the three-point game. Pass to Matthews. Here's Anadokounmpo. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Well, even after it appeared that there was a falling out, Kyrie Irvin remains a Brooklyn net. Now, I suppose cooler heads prevailed, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Irving on the move here in the near future. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Lopez passes to Anadokounmpo. Claxton with a rebound. Boy, a miss like that will drive any scorer crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Pass to Matthews. Anadokounmpo with it. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist from Anadokounmpo. Unbelievable. You talk about players who have transformed this league. Giannis is at the top of that list. Just a tremendous pass right there. Now here's Simmons. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. Carter, he's checked in for Holiday. Milwaukee on D. It's a three-point game. Simmons against Carter. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Brooke Lopez. Oh, and last summer, Ben Simmons had surgery on a herniated disc. I'm not a back expert. You know, I'm more of an ankle guy, but hard to be effective when that area is just not right. And last season, Ben Simmons caught some flack for not suiting up in the playoffs. Grant, you think his surgery quieted those voices a little? You know, I think it did a little bit. But, you know, at this point, it's going to come down to his performance on the court. He does have something to prove. It'll be interesting to see what he does. Five on the clock. Carter. The second effort. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Well, you have to love the energy from Brooke Lopez. This guy has got deep inside position, and he accepts the hit like a champ. The people upstairs in Brooklyn have been making some very interesting moves trying to put together a championship-caliber team. Sharp, he's checked in for Claxton. Here's O'Neal. Pass to Irving. Up top, Durant. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. The ability to be ready to rise and fire in that situation is so important. Kevin Durant, no doubt. Are those big decisions by the Nets front office difficult to deal with as players? You know, some guys can ignore the politics, but I'm sure others do have questions at the end of the day, though. These guys just want a ball. And ultimately, I think they just roll with the punches. Here's Simmons. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. Points. Man, my goodness, the handle of Ben Simmons, the craftiness to get to his spot. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Now here's Carter. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Pass to Matthews. No good on the three. The Nets with the lead. Here's Sharp. 
Oh, they get a hand on it. Lopez with the steal. Out of bounds. It'll be the Nets ball. For Brooklyn, they've gone four of five so far. Looking sharp. Irving, no good. The Bucks have gone two for five here in the first. Here's Matthews. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. To the paint. And he's going for the oop here. Hammers the lob through. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Simmons against Carter. Now here's Lopez. The D's right on him. The ball's knocked loose. And stolen by Simmons. Inside. Oh, got a piece of it. And he comes up with a bucket. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Now here's Carter. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Shot clock at five. Outside Carter. Gets the three to fall. Yeah, a gifted passer. Antetokounmpo has won multiple MVPs for his all-around game. Here's Sharp, covered by Lopez. And that one's good. Sharp. The Bucks trail. Here's Matthews. Back to Carter. One eleven left in the first quarter here. Here's Lights Out. He's guarded by Irving. Let's the three fly. Carter can't get it to go. The Nets have gone seven of nine, a solid percentage so far. Here's Simmons, and that one's long. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's when he normally converts. Here's Matthews. Good. And Anna Kumpo gets the assist. Anna Kumpo's got three assists tonight. Pass to O'Neal. There's 31 seconds left in the first. Simmons against Lopez. And out of bounds. The Bucks will take it. And the Bucks making a change here. Nora's checked in. Harris is checked in for Brooklyn. Thomas comes in for Kyrie Irving. Milwaukee's gone one of four from deep. Kumpo outside. Tipped away. And pushing it up the floor. Here comes Brooklyn. For three, O'Neal. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And with an out of they're up by five. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the Nets, what do you think, guys? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. On the court right now, second quarter for the Nets. Royce O'Neal is out there with Nicholas Claxton. Then it's Joe Harris. Then it's Ben Simmons. And it's Thomas in at the two-guard spot. And Brooklyn has possession. Following the score by Milwaukee. Outside Simmons. Clock at six. Reporter O'Neal buries it. He's two for four in this game. Never expect Ben Simmons to miss a wide open teammate. What a pass right there. Pass to Nora. Holiday up top. Here's lights out. Kumpo up top over Simmons. Oh, Simmons with the block. That is the long arms and defensive prowess of Ben Simmons on display. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Thanks a lot. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo has won MVPs, Defensive Player of the Year, and a championship. But he says, quote, I am not satisfied. 
As the leader of this team, that's the tone I set. I don't care about trophies. I care about getting better, and that's what I've done my entire career. Brian, he stays focused. Nose to the grindstone, Alley. Thanks for that. Matthews, he's checked in for Nora. And a change for the Nets. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Thomas. Lights out. That's good. Big men nowadays, Doris. Some of them handle like a guard. Well, this is the beauty and the natural evolution of having to function on the perimeter. You want to be as skilled as possible. We call it being a three-tool player, Brian. Can you dribble? Can you pass? Can you shoot? Increasingly, you must be able to do all three. He can't get it to go. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Down low. Outside Simmons. Here's O'Neal. Five points in the game. Pass to Claxton. Shoots over Lopez. And again no good by Brooklyn. The Bucs have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Holiday against Simmons. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. Fires the three. And there's Holiday. That's good. On the assist from Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo's got assist number five here tonight. Simmons against Holiday. And Simmons gets it to go. Simmons has got nine points. Well, if you're Ben Simmons and you're playing in pick and roll action with the ball in your hands, you got to be willing to score it or deliver it. Simmons against Holiday. And here is Irving. Outside Simmons. Pass to Claxton. Harris outside. Pure from three-point range. And now it's a seven-point Nets lead. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for Brooklyn. I must say their defensive intensity has been impressive so far. Really making it hard for the offense to hold on to the ball. Yeah, they've also been alert and active on the defensive end, creating turnovers and turning those into points on the offensive end. Here's Irving. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. Pass to Simmons. Back to Irving. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Oh, the long arms of Brooke Lopez effortlessly sends that back. Holiday with the ball. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. Back to Holiday. Oh, Simmons with the block. Fast break. Here we go. Oh. Offensive rebound. An open look for Irving. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. He's got five. Well, Kyrie Irving has played with LeBron and Kevin Durant. You learn how to operate without the basketball. Timeout called the Bucks. Guys, it seems to me that what's gotten lost in all the criticism of Ben Simmons shooting is the fact that this guy is still very special at the things he is very capable of doing. Ibaka, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Kevin Durant, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Holiday with the ball. He's got five. Pass to Ibaka. I think it's the gritty nature of Serge Ibaka's game that earns him these calls. You've got to be careful how you guard him. And he makes a first. Hits both from the stripe. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Here's O'Neal. On to Kumpo covering. Out of bounds. Nets ball as Brooklyn keeps possession. Norris checked in for Matthews. And a change for the Nets. Thomas is checked in. On the wing, Durant. Shot from 16. Got it. And Simmons has taken a ton of heat recently. He really has, B.A., but it seems to me he's ready to prove his doubters wrong. Maybe he uses all that criticism as motivation to finally improve his shooting because absolutely on the defensive end, this guy is a terror. And in transition, he puts a ton of pressure on you. And so it's Milwaukee with it after the basket by Brooklyn. Yep, that one's good. Adetokounmpo has got six. 
using his size to his advantage. Giannis is a handful to deal with close to the rim. There's 39 seconds left in the second quarter. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Pass to Holiday. Plenty of space. And it's Milwaukee scoring again. With balance and good rhythm, Holiday serves as an effective catch-and-shoot player. Here's Thomas. There's 21 seconds left to play in the second quarter. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Pulls up. And the Bucks getting another bucket right there. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Up top, Durant. Let's it go from 11. He's off on that one. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Nets. They're up by three. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Really an incredible game from Ben Simmons. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. Then there's Drew Holiday. Then it's Wesley Matthews. And it's lights out in at the two. And that's the group for Mike Budenholzer as we begin the second half. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Jack Simmons. Now here's Simmons. Come around, come around. Pass to Irving. Oh. And it's rejected. Out of bounds. Nets ball as Brooklyn keeps possession. Outside Durant. And Durant slams it home. Boy, how about the finish by Kevin Durant? Just gets up with such ease. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Oh, Durant with a steal. Hey, yo, right here. And he lobs it up to the rim. Outside Holiday. And Holiday powers it home. You can really see their confidence growing as this game has gone on. They have reason to believe them. What I love is the heart, the fire, the tenacity. This is absolutely fantastic. Right wing. Here's Simmons. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Lights Out. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Brooklyn has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the continuity for the Bucks is a strength. Chris Middleton said, quote, we've been through every type of situation, so you know what to expect. There's no need to worry about failing because you know what you need to do. Brian, some call it corporate knowledge. Well, a key aspect when it comes to NBA dynasties. Thanks, Allie. You know, for this Bucks team, they seem to play together as well as any team we've seen recently. Yeah, this team has a bunch of players who complement each other very well. And they've got so many different ways that they can play on the floor. That's what makes them so successful. Well, that <laughs> and Giannis. Pass to Matthews. Here's Lights Out. Here's the three. Offensive board. On the Kumpo. And the shot's good. Gotta love how tenacious Giannis is on the boards. Attacking every loose ball. And that one misses. And last season, Giannis passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the Bucks' all-time leading scorer. He wants to finish his career in Milwaukee, so 
that total bound to grow. And Durant gets it to go. Now, Kevin Durant entered the league as an efficient mid-range shooter, and that has not gone away as part of his game. And he lobs it up top. Oh, what a pass. Those two read each other really well. Looks like a play they've definitely run in practice. Outside Irving. And they call an illegal screen here. And this is the absolute wrong time to stop communicating. They have to get in sync. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Harris has checked in for Brooklyn. And stolen by Antetokounmpo. And the big finish by Giannis. Beyond belief. I mean, such a creative talent. And I'm not surprised to see Giannis get flashy on the finish. And Grant, both Giannis and Kareem dominated the paint. But they get it done differently. Yeah, that they do. Kareem, possibly the best ever in the post. Whereas Giannis might be the most dominant slasher and driver in league history. Harris against Holiday. Got a piece of it. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. Out of the Kumpo for three. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Out of the Kumpo has got nine points now in the quarter. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And Grant last season drew Holiday winning the NBA Teammate of the Year award for the second time. Yeah, and in 2021, B.A., he got the NBA Sportsmanship Award, too. So needless to say, Holiday tremendously respected by his peers and known for his dedication to others. The Bucks making a switch here. Ibaka's checked in. Ibaka against Durant. Shoots over Ibaka. Durant with the bucket. Durant's got 12 points in the game. It's this kind of consistency, guys, as a scorer that always has Kevin Durant in the MVP conversation. Kumpo, the pass to Ibaka. Pass to lights out. Shot is up. Sharp grabs the miss. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Here's lights out. Minute 32 left in the third. Holiday finds Ana de Kumpo. Shot clock at six. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Norris checked in for Milwaukee. Here's Sharp. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. They'll pin that one on Serge Ibaka. Man, good whistle there. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Nets. I mean, they've been sinking shots from mid-range, and, and they found a gap there in the defense, and they just continue to exploit it. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. Pass to Thomas. Now Mills. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. One of the best parts about Patty Mills is his adaptability to the club's needs. You need him to come off the bench and be that leader on the second team, he can do that. You need him to be a spot starter, he can do that as well. He is about team first. Guys, when you consider the firepower that the Nets have, obviously built to contend, but the defensive end has got to improve. We know championships are built and begin with the defensive side of the floor. Pass to Ana de Kumpo to the left wing. Here's lights out. Here's Nora. It's wide right, hits off the rim. Brooklyn has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. To the inside. Mills finds Durant. Over on it, Milwaukee with the rebound. 
On and Akumpo has got six rebounds here tonight. Oh, and the dunk by On and Akumpo. And look at Giannis using his length inside, allowing him to beat the contact and get the finish. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. On the court for the Nets as we get the fourth quarter going. It's KD at power forward and Claxton at center. Kyrie Irving out there with Edmund Sumner. And it's Edwards in at the small forward position. So many times Giannis forces his man into a foul. As a defender, you can't give him anything easy. That leads to a lot of contact. You know, and where the Bucks seem to dominate every year is on the glass, particularly at the defensive end. Number one in the league the last four seasons. And the Nets making a change here. Simmons is checked in. Milwaukee has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Here's Matthews. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And Grant, I guess for the Bucks, hey, you can't teach size. And they're good fundamentally as well, B.A. I mean, they block out, they fight to maintain position. If you're going to beat them, it probably won't be with second-chance points. Well, the trio of KD, Kyrie, and Harden Doris, they played just 16 games together when it was all said and done. Just so frustrating for a Nets organization that had positioned itself to acquire that talent. But this is a real lesson about success in the NBA. You have to maximize your windows and take nothing for granted because, boy, do things change quickly. And that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. And the Nets making a change here. O'Neal's checked in. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Out of bounds. Nets ball as Brooklyn keeps possession. Here's Edwards. Clock at four. Irving for three. Holiday grabs the miss. Holiday's got four rebounds now. Lights out, no good. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Outside Simmons. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth. And he's going for the lob! Claxton can't get it to go. And the idea was good, but the execution severely lacking just a missed connection and it happens I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity too much space on the perimeter there needs to be a little more energy from the defense Irving for three again Irving missing I'll tell you this has not been his game and he's making it worse with shot selection like that Brooklyn trailing pass to Claxton and a foul called on the way up so he'll take two from the free throw line. Man, the defender really went after him. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Bucs. Well, you have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks too. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Irving fires from way outside. Milwaukee has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Outside Holiday. Pass to Anadokounmpo. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists now in this one. 
they are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Timeout called. Brooklyn, you look at Giannis Antetokounmpo. What a contribution. He's been on a mission, attacking the basket all game long. I'm curious to see what adjustments they can make. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. I was able to listen in on what Steve Nash was going over with his team. It wasn't feel-good pep talk. He wants them to show some fight in the closing moments. He told them, if you guys want to salvage any respect from this game, now's the time to do it. Show them we are better than this. Guys, take it away. As always, Allie, we thank you. Milwaukee has gone 7-14 from the perimeter in this one. Here's lights out. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And it's a 12-point Milwaukee lead. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Looking to win the run. That one rolls around and rims out. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Ooh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. Harris has checked in for Brooklyn. And he makes all three. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Simmons against Holiday. Oh, there's the alley! And here is Hanada Kumpo. Outside Holiday. Pass to lights out. Lopez with it. Five to shoot. And stolen by Simmons. To the middle. Irving, the pass to Simmons. Six on the shot clock. Outside for Irving. Yes! And that's Simmons with the assist. Ben Simmons, a guy who will find you if you are open. You love his setup ability. Now here's Ana Kumpo. Pass to lights out. Now Holiday. And here's Lopez. Inside. Kicks it out to Ana Kumpo. Here's Matthews. And too long on the shot for the Nets. This one not looking good. Outside Irving. Shot from 12. Rebound, Milwaukee. And a comfortable win for them here. Game is out of reach. Time for the fans now to celebrate a win for the Bucks. They had to fight for this one. With the game hanging in the balance a couple of times, they made winning plays, Grant. It's all about having a strong mentality. What's interesting is that any time momentum turned against them, instead of folding, they responded with their own attack. And what a huge performance it was for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And I love how active he was on the glass. Not afraid to get physical and do whatever he could do to grab boards. Boy, as crafty as they come. Matthews goes up with a purpose, baits the defender into fouling him. That's textbook. So both teams changing it up here. And a big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. And the free throw, no good. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Takes a three. And again, it's the Bucks missing. And a comeback here looking very unlikely. Absolutely everything would have to go their way at this point. And the basket by Sumner. Patty Mills is about winning, guys. And if that means finding the open man, he'll do just that. Carter against Mills. Outside Carter. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. 
They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. The next of 